Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. hope you're well and I thought what I'd do is just take you on a little journey a little walk that I take fairly regularly with Andre so there's background sounds I'm in the countryside you may hear the pigeon going his name's Herbert he follows me around He's been following me from address to address, honestly, for about 20 years. So, there's nothing for you to do. I'm just going to talk. And I'm just going to describe the journey from my house into the, you know, all the way up to the fields, which isn't far away, just the end of the road. I'm going to walk you through the fields. And this can be an opportunity for you to just relax, let go. And nothing that I tell you is going to be You know, it's not going to be stimulating, it's not going to be invigorating, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to, you know, really make too much difference to your life. It's just going to be mundane things, just standard stuff that I notice and see when I take that short, oh, it's quite a short, it's about a half an hour journey from where I live to the end of the fields and then maybe I'll walk all the way around uh, depends I wonder if I'm with Andre my ferret quite often what he likes to do if it's a nice day he'll walk me you know I'll follow him and sometimes he'll run he gets a lot of energy sometimes and he'll lead me all the way into the fields and he won't want to come back but then it'll get to a point where he just lays down to go to sleep he gets so tired by the time he gets to the end of the field it's almost like as we're traveling through the field he gets I guess more relaxed and the energy that he had, any kind of nervous stress that he had in his body just gets burnt off and sort of disappears and it becomes comes to the point where he's just just lies down and he's all floppy and he doesn't want to do anything else. He's so relaxed and peaceful. He just lays there. And he's happy to just lay there for hours and hours. Because he's so relaxed. And he's there's a peacefulness that I think he feels when he's out there. Because he's in nature and I guess that's his his natural habitat, I suppose. His natural environment. And he just lays there. Peaceful. And then he expects me to carry him home. he just falls asleep in my arms or he climbs into my 
jacket or my jumper or inside my t-shirt and he just falls asleep so I'm walking around with this big bulge sticking out of my tummy with an, an even bigger bulge than normal so I look even fatter than I, do, than I normally do And he's so peaceful. And when I've got in there, especially when he climbs into my jacket, there's a warmth that I've got against my stomach and my chest. And I feel, I feel very close to him. Sort of uh, physically, I guess, sort of almost as if we're one person. And having his little heartbeat next to mine. And I can feel his body moving when he breathes. It's very peaceful and it relaxes me. Because when I, when I do that walk and I'm walking through the field. I very much focus... I focus on what's around me. I also focus on my feet. So it's a, it's a walking meditation really for me. So I find as I, as the time goes by, I feel more relaxed I feel yeah I can feel the parts of my body starting to just it may sound strange but it's almost as if parts of my body seem to disappear the parts that I'm not using. I know they're there, but they seem to almost sort of melt away and any parts that were feeling maybe a little bit tight or tense seem to just melt. And it's a nice feeling because it almost feels as if the whole body is just one muscle, one body part, instead of being broken up into all the different parts that we have. It just almost feels just as if everything's smoothed out. And even whatever degree of separation I sometimes feel between my body and my brain, that gap or that bridge seems to have dropped away and almost shortened to the point where there is no gap there is there seems to be no difference between my mind and my body it's almost it's just one like I said just one thing one smooth me I guess it's just you, everything's all complete, operating perfectly, working correctly, easily, quietly. And I think there's the 
a degree of absorbing the surrounding energy from the field. You know, there's the air, which is fresh. Maybe a slight breeze. Of course, there's the sounds of maybe the birds in the background, in the trees, in the bushes. All types of birds. There's the pigeons, there's the, the more softer but perhaps higher pitched birds. The ones that whistle, the ones that maybe sing the same tune. And you can hear that they're communicating. Sometimes with another bird, a similar bird that may be far away. You can hear other little sounds, other animals that are there, but you, you can't see them necessarily. Sometimes they do run onto the path like a rabbit or run onto the path, look at me and hop off again. Or a fox. All these little field animals sharing the same space which I find relaxes me. And even just by talking about that field, that space, that it feels safe. The sense of safety that I do appreciate. I guess I almost look forward to experiencing that sense of being close to nature. And even though I don't, I don't, I guess, really see much in the way of the animals, I know I'm around them. I know there's squirrels around, and I know there's hedgehogs, and probably badgers, and you know, Nate, there's, there's uh, deer around as well. Um, I've only ever seen one. But you know, it's the the farm area, the the land uh, of these farms is so so large you know that the animals travel around and of course there's going to be ferrets there as well but the only ferret I've ever seen is Andre my one he can smell other ferrets I'm pretty sure because he gets excited sometimes and he's, his little nose starts going <laughs> Like that, and he's just running, looking for some, looking maybe for a girlfriend. But I never, never seen one yet. But I get, I suppose there's also the sense of comfort that I feel. Seeing him running around, sniffing around and rolling in the hay, rolling in the mud. He 
he's so happy. And seeing seeing him happy really fills me up with a sense of I guess gratitude as well as love. feeling grateful that to have such a wonderful farm area a place fields and farms where I can walk and relax something that I would have really appreciated 20 years ago so now, gratitude really is something that pops up. And it's genuine because I really do appreciate that relaxation that fills my body and mind when I'm just walking through the fields maybe it's part of walking on dirt walking on the earth not being on concrete or wood or you know anything like that but actually being in contact with the earth. There's a, to me, a, a feeling, almost a healing feeling connected to the earth. The home that we all share. Because standing on that piece of the earth connects me to everybody on this planet. Because we're all standing on the earth. Apart from those that are in planes <laughs> at the moment, but you know what I mean. We're all sharing the air, the earth, gravity. And I like to think that we all share relaxation. It's there to be shared. It's an energy that is free. And sometimes relaxation isn't something that's additional. It's something that sometimes may only be felt when other stuff is removed. Like stress and strain and worry and all that stuff. It does seem almost that we have to free relaxation. That it's there all the time and perhaps we haven't always realized deep relaxation and the ability to just drift off to sleep is always with us so maybe that's why talking about walking in the field I 
allows that other stuff to just drop away. And although that never ending energy of healing, you could say it almost comes from the sun or is similar to the sun in a sense of it's it's all powerful, it really you know, it's unlimiting. It doesn't ask for anything. Every day the sun shines. The sun keeps us alive. It doesn't ask for anything. It doesn't expect anything. It just shines brightly every day of our lives. Of course, we don't always see how shine you know how shiny it is due to maybe the clouds or if it's night time and depending on where we are. But it's always shining. It's always keeping this planet at a temperature that supports our lives. Every day of our life, every minute of our life, we are supported by the sun. In fact, the sun is more important than any part of our body for our survival. Because the sun goes, that's it. Relaxation seems to be almost a similar, maybe it comes from the sun. It's end, you know, it's, it's, there is no end to it. It's always there for you. Relaxation is always available to you every second of every day just like the sun so I like the idea of relaxation being connected to the sun because then we can never we can never say that it's not there because it's always there. A small child who doesn't understand the sun might say, well, the sun's not out. The sun's not there anymore because it's night time and it's dark. But we know the sun is always there. No matter if it's dark, if it's cloudy, the sun is always shining, keeping our world, our planet alive. Just like relaxation is always there. Always available for you and me. To let go. Really, really just let go. Any time. You 
sometimes I suppose all we need to free relaxation and to really make it available for ourselves is to realize the truth that it is like the sun it's always available it's always there feeling relaxed and calm is our natural state just like falling asleep is something that we are born with the ability to relax deeply, let go of everything, and just drift off to sleep. Drifting off. notice when I'm walking through the fields this sense of peace that I get a real sense of oneness realizing the the true power of nature that I will never grasp I will never I can realize that it's powerful but I'll never know I'll never really understand how powerful nature is not in the way that animals and wildlife birds, trees, the crops, the insects, all of it, you know, nature itself is just so powerful and so beautiful, so peaceful. almost feels like the, there's a dance going on, you know, like a real perfect dance where nature is just, has this big, huge dance, like a big musical, and everything works perfectly. that sense of comfort and relaxation that I feel comes from being and even just thinking about nature allows me feel more in contact with that oneness that I guess that sharing feeling uh, almost as if I'm part of more than just being me there's more to my life than just thinking about myself and a certain deep, deep comfort comes and I feel it now
and I, I feel that that connection between us as well, between me and you, who's listening to this. As you listen, you start to feel more relaxed. And I think that affects me. And maybe by me being relaxed, as I continue to talk, can cause and affect you to also feel more relaxed in your mind and your body and there's that energy that is shared between me, you and thousands of people around the world that are listening to this I think seems to energize that relaxation in a way as to make it more powerful so that it's not just a short-term feeling but you can keep this sense of comfort in your mind and in your body you can keep it this sense of peacefulness and calmness can stay with you almost like you're carrying it around like a little backpack that weighs nothing but it's with you calming your body and your mind allowing you to deal with more things in a way that is more suitable to your needs. And of course that sense of comfort that can lead to feeling really sleepy becomes stronger really really stronger as I count down from 10 to 1 if you choose you can just let go completely and just drift off to sleep now 10 9 Eight, seven, six, 
Four. 